In this video from my series on my favorite features with Mac OS Sonoma, we're going to be taking a look at web apps. With web apps, what we're able to do is use any website like an app. What the Mac will do with Mac OS Sonoma, what it'll do is it'll add it to the dock and it'll add it to the applications folder. We'll be able to receive notifications. So that website will basically be its own app. And that's what I'll be calling it throughout this video, an app. But really what it is, it's a web app. Let's take a look at how we create web apps from websites and use them like an app on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. First thing I want to mention is I am using a beta version of Mac OS Sonoma. So even though what I'm going to show you will work, they may change how it works with the final release of Mac OS Sonoma. Also, this is a Safari only feature and this part isn't going to change. So if you're using Chrome or Brave or Microsoft Edge, you'll need to use Safari to create an app out of it. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, how do we create an application out of a website? Well, it's pretty simple actually. All we have to do is just go to Safari initially. Again, this is a Safari feature. So we open up Safari, we go to the site we want to create an application out of. I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite sites, Dan's Tutorials. So I go to Dan's Tutorials here, it opens up, and now all I need to do is go up under File here, and you're gonna see an option to add to the dock. When I add this to the dock, it's gonna add it to the dock, of course, but then it's also gonna create an application and add it to an applications folder. Now I mentioned an applications folder. Every Mac has two applications folder. I'll talk a little bit more about this later on in the video. So now let's go ahead and add this to the dock and see how this all works. So I select it, I go and name it. We're gonna make this a little bit shorter here. And now all I need to do is just click on add, and it adds it to my dock. This is an application. So now what I'm able to do is quit out of Safari here. Let's go ahead and quit. And when I go to this application that I just created, it's going to go to my site, Dance Tutorials. So if you were to create an application from QuickBooks Online, it would go to that site. But it is within its own application. You're gonna see that I am not in Safari here. It's using Safari as the back end but I'm not in Safari. I'm in my own app. When I go to quit, I'm not quitting out of Safari, I'm quitting out of my own application. Now, being that it is using Safari as the back end, it does use keychains, so you're able to save your usernames and passwords and use autofill to log in. Also, you can go back and forth. So when I go to a different page here, what I'm able to do is go back and forth with these arrows. I can even open this up in Safari. I just go over to the far right. You're going to see we have this little icon here. And when I click on this, what it's going to do is open it up in Safari. Now, being that I open it up in Safari and I have a web app, look at what Safari does. It says open in web app. So all I have to do is just click on open here. And instead of opening this up in Safari, what it's going to do is bring my application dance tutorials forward. So again, what I'm able to do is quit out of Safari and browse around my site using my application here. We even have our own settings for this. When I click on settings here, it opens up a new window. I have general, this is where I can go and name it. I can change the icon. I can also show the navigation controls. So these are these back and forth arrows here. And I can also show color in the title bar. When I go over to privacy, I'm able to clear the website data. And it's only going to be for this website. It's not gonna be for every other website because I'm in my own application here. Go ahead and close this. You're gonna see I can go and change the view size. I can zoom in and out. I can reload the page. I can even download. So if I was on a website that had downloads, I'd be able to download it through this app. So you really won't lose any functionality but it's gonna be in its own app. All right, now let's talk about these applications. I mentioned earlier that it actually does create an application, but it puts it into an applications folder, not the applications folder. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead and quit out of here. And we're all familiar with our applications here. This is where we have all of our different applications. This applications folder is available to 
every user on a Mac. We can have multiple users on a Mac. Well, a web app is only available to the one user that created it. In my case here, I have an account for John Appleseed. That is the only person that can use this web app. So if someone else were to log into this computer, they would not be able to open up that web app. So by default, Apple doesn't add the application to this application's folder. Well, where does it add it? Well, every user also has their own applications folder. If you were to go to your home folder, you're going to see that you have an applications folder in addition to your downloads, movies, music, and pictures. You probably never noticed it, but you do have an applications folder. Usually there's not much in there because every app is installed in this folder here. Well, with web apps, as I mentioned, it's only available to that user. So by default, what it does is it places it into this applications folder for the user account. That way, if someone else were to log in, they would not see this application and they couldn't open it up. Now, saying all that, you are able to move this application over to this applications folder and it will work. So if you want to put a web app into your applications folder, it will work. Just be aware that if you have multiple accounts, the other users are not going to be able to use it. They'll be able to click on it, double click on it, but they'll get a permissions error. Also, there's a little catch to this, when you open up Safari, and if you go to the site that has a web app, in my case here, Dan Charles has a web app, the reason why it knows that it has a web app is because it sees it in this applications folder. So if I were to move it out of here, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drag this over to applications. So now here it is in my standard applications folder. I can double click on it, it opens up, works just like normal. But if I go to Safari here and then go to Dance Tutorials, I'm just gonna refresh this. You're gonna see that it doesn't recognize that I have a web app. That is because I moved it out of this applications folder. If I were to put it back into this applications folder, then it would recognize that. So you can put it into the root applications folder. Just be aware that it won't detect that when you go to that site in Safari. Now, how do we remove a web app? Well, basically what we need to do is just remove it from the dock and delete the application. So what I would do if I wanted to remove this is I would just take my application out of the dock. I just drag it up. You're going to see it has remove there. And then what I need to do is go over to my applications folder and I put it into my main applications folder. So I just go over here to applications. I select it. I delete it. And now that web app is no longer there. So that's one of my favorite new features with Mac OS Sonoma. We can now take any website and use it like an app by creating a web app.